Hello and welcome back. It has been strange so far this year in regards to weather. Usually about this time, I would be in full swing with car photography, but that hasn't happened. And the primary reason is the weather. It's been pretty crummy. It has been raining a lot. We're coming off one of the rainiest Mays in recorded history here, and uh, June is shaping up to be about the same. So between canceled shows and canceled events and not even really having a nice weekend to go out and shoot some of these cars that would normally be in my town, I've been uh, lacking for motivation and inspiration. But I decided I wanted to go ahead and do something about that. So my hometown is about an hour, maybe an hour and a half southeast of Seattle. And um, you can just go right over the pass and get to the eastern side of Mount Rainier in a couple of hours. I knew that I wanted to be at one of the passes or on the other side of one of the passes at sunrise. So I set my GPS to a town just on the other side of one of our passes out here, and I went for it. I got up at 3 a.m. and uh, didn't stop till I was a good hour and a half into the drive. The sun was just starting to come up and uh, I saw this really dramatic sky and I was hoping I could pull over and uh, get some magic with my camera. Unfortunately, I think that it was just uh, a little bit too cloudy, a little bit too gloomy, and uh, there wasn't enough visibility to really get anything great here. So this next stop is at a place called Clear Creek Falls Outlook. Now I had never been here before, but we were getting onto the other side of the mountain and uh, the sky was starting to clear up, especially looking in the direction we were at this lookout for these photos here. And uh, there was great visibility, some great colors to the sky. Now going back, I would have actually stayed in this area and explored it a little bit more. I'm kind of kicking myself for not doing so. But again, I didn't really have a plan. I didn't really know where I wanted to go or what I wanted to get. So I was kind of rushing myself here, trying to get uh, a little bit further down the road for sunrise, almost maybe looking back at the mountains. And I just lost one of the legs of my tripod. Now, if you're nervous about gear falling and breaking, I wouldn't watch this part right here because I am uh, way too careless with my camera. But uh, ultimately, I was able to get it to work, get a couple of really good photos, and uh, I'm happy with this stop. And I've also uh, since fixed the leg of my tripod. There's a waterfall on the way out here that I wish I would have uh, hiked down a little bit and found a good way to frame up and get a photo of. But uh, you live and you learn, this isn't too far from me, so I might venture back here one day and see what I come up with. So I'm driving along and I'm getting close to the town of Natchez, which is what I had on my GPS. And I look off to my right and I see this lake and I now know the lake is called Rimrock Lake. But the sun was coming up over the hills behind me and they were lighting up the other side of the lake and I pulled over and decided I would take a couple shots. Now the original photo I came up with is okay but with a little magic of Photoshop and I was able to make a photo that I actually really like and I would think it's probably the best one of the day. Now I'm the kind of person that does photography because I enjoy art and I have no problem with editing some of my photos. And I mean, look at the results you get from editing. I actually really like this photo and I'm very happy with the way that it came out. So I get to the town of Natchez. I didn't wanna spend a bunch of time there taking photos. If I do that, I'd like to spend the whole day there. So I give myself the morning golden hour and I give myself the evening golden hour, maybe get some nighttime shots. Uh, that's not what this trip was for. This was to give me just a destination on the GPS so I could drive there, turn around, drive back and get shots along the way, which is what I did. On the way out of town though, I found this little spot on the side of the road that had a couple things I wanted to photograph. So this little building on the side of the road I thought would make a good shot. Uh, 
Uh, this is the best one I got. Not super happy with it, but I gave it a shot. However, a little bit further up the road on the right, there was this little building that I wanted to get. And it was really cool because the sun was coming through these trees, giving me some really nice, warm, vibrant colors and some really good sun flares I was able to work with and get a couple of shots that I really enjoyed. And with those, it was time for me to head home. So we're on our way back and we hit those gray skies of Western Washington far too quickly. Now, I don't know about you guys, but it is hard for me to get inspired when everything is gray, which is a kind of contrary to what you would think because the clouds are pretty much creating a giant softbox, but nothing jumps out at me in that kind of lighting and that kind of weather. I did see one thing I wanted to pull over and get a shot of. I've been picturing this shot of all these trees, these bare tree trunks kind of lined up, um, looking deep into the green woods. And I've been trying to find a spot to create that or capture that. And I got a decent shot here, not quite what I was looking for. It's the last one of the day, and I'm pretty happy with it. It makes like a good desktop uh, background or something like that. And with that, my trip was done. Uh, I was up at 3, gone by 3.30, and home by 10.30 a.m. Um, I didn't get anything that I would call like the best shot I've ever taken, but I'm happy with the shots I did get. I really like a few of them, and I hope you enjoyed it. That being said, if you have not already, please like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and turn on the notification bell so you will get notified when I post new videos. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.